Here's an amazing, amazing book. It's become my go-to recommendation for those first learning traditional logic or verbal style logic. There's other books on the market that may be similar to this. They might be just as good as this, or at least almost as good as this, but there's nothing better than it. And in fact, it probably is the best one on the market right now. And that is Socratic Logic, a logic text using Socratic method, Platonic questions, and Aristotelian principles by the great and prolific author, Peter Kreeft. This is edition 3.1. I wish I read this book years ago. I just got a hold of it a couple of months ago. I've been reading it, I've been learning from it, and enjoying it tremendously. This is definitely my go-to recommendation. So we're going to look at the table of contents and some random pages from the book and some unique features of it. So it is by Peter Kreep, and he is a prolific author. He's maybe written around 70 books, but it's more about quality than quantity. This book has a high value. It's definitely high in quality. So let's look at the table of contents. The introduction, what good is logic? 17 ways this book is different. The two logics, all of logic in two pages, an overview. The three acts of the mind. Then we get into chapter one, which is of the first act of the mind, namely understanding or simple apprehension. Then we get into terms, material fallacies. Chapter four is on definitions. Five is on the second act of the mind, namely judgment. We then get into changing propositions, which includes the topic of immediate inference in particular. We have contradiction, which covers such things as the square of opposition. Then we have the third act of the mind, namely reasoning. Chapter 9 is on different kinds of arguments. We have three meanings of because, the four causes, a classification of arguments, simple argument maps, deductive and inductive reasoning, and then combining the two. And then chapter 10 is on syllogisms. Next, checking syllogisms for validity. We then have more difficult syllogisms, compound syllogism, induction, including the coverage of John Stuart Mill's methods. And this is really, really neat. Take a look at this. And this alone is worth the price of the book, if you ask me. Chapter 15, some practical applications of logic. Number one, how to write a logical essay. That's a big one. Peter Kreef writes, and I think he's absolutely right, if you master traditional verbal style logic, you will become, other things being equal, a much better writer. You will be so far ahead of the pack. If you're taking a college English composition class, you will be ahead of the class, maybe even ahead of the professor if you've read this book and gone through all the exercises. And there are exercises in this book. But this also teaches you how to write a Socratic dialogue, how to have a Socratic debate, how to use Socratic method on difficult people. How to read a book Socratically. He references, for example, Mortimer J. Adler's book, How to Read a Book. And Kreef summarizes the main points from that book. And then we have some philosophical applications of logic, problems with mathematical logic, and very importantly, answers to even-numbered exercises, which is extremely helpful because then you could check if you're on the right track. So this is a really good book. It's well written. There's also humor in it, so it's very funny in some ways. It's an opinionated book to be sure, but it's quite a joy to read. He references great authors, great philosophers like G.K. Chesterton, of course, people like Plato and Aristotle, or great um, people from classical literature. So let's look at the introduction. So section one, what good is logic? According to Peter Kreep, order. Logic builds the mental habit of thinking in an orderly way. Two, power. Logic has power. The power of proof and thus persuasion. It's also good for reading. Logic will help you with all your other courses, for logic will help you read any book more clearly and effectively. Writing. Logic will also help you write more clearly and effectively and effectively, and so on and so forth. So there are many good reasons to learn logic. Another one, for example, is wisdom. For logic is one of philosophy's main instruments. Logic is to philosophy what telescopes are to astronomy or microscopes to biology or math to physics. You can't be very good at physics if you're very bad at math. You can't be very good in philosophy if you're very bad at logic. 
So it's a tremendously good book. And I sort of flipped through it randomly. So here's a big quote from G.K. Chesterton. Um, so here, what is this on? Yeah, fallacies of language. So there's a lot of interesting um, examples that he gives. Section on straw man. Examples of the ad hominem fallacy. As I said, if we look at the or end of the book, we should see answers to even numbered problems. So, yeah, so here I am page 130. So here are the answers to the even problems. So problem two, four, and so forth. So that's very helpful. It is a little bit expensive for, for $40, but for a textbook, that's not bad. If you get other textbooks, you'll spend $100, $200 for a new one. But this one, I think, is definitely worth getting a new copy. So this is the only complete system of classical Aristotelian logic in print in English. I think it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's not too far from the truth. This book is simple and user-friendly. That's true. It's practical. It's also philosophical. That's very true. It prepares students to read great books. So that is another great reason to get it. It has diagrams. So here we have some diagrams. You will find Venn diagrams in here. Various tables to summarize basic um, uh, important points. But overall, I really recommend this book. And if you check down in the description to this video, I'll give some links in terms of purchasing this book. If you purchase this book through those links, that will help me out at least a little bit. So this is Socratic logic, a logic text using Socratic method, Platonic questions and Aristotelian principles by Peter Creek. One outstanding book. It has my highly, it has my highest recommendation.